How's everybody doing? Good. I'm sorry. You guys have five turnovers <laughs> against a team that really likes the four turnovers. What was key in keeping that number pretty low? Uh, just played great. How, how about that for an answer? Played played great. If you just said uh, 12, I'd have taken 12. If, if you could have 12 turnovers tonight, I would have been thrilled. That was one of our biggest concerns. We felt like it was one of the keys to the game. But it's also one of the hardest things. You don't just tell your guy, hey, go into the game and whatever you do, don't turn the ball over, for gosh sakes. Because then what you're going to do is you're going to go huddle up into the corner and, and, and grab the ball in, in the fetal position and do nothing. So you have to you have to attack and you have to make good decisions. So the truth of turnovers, in my mind, are to be able to play aggressively with a slow mind and making good decisions. And that's not always easy to do, but we, we did a great job tonight. Coach, the energy seemed through the roof tonight on both sides of the ball. Not saying it hasn't been there in the past, but especially tonight where's that been uh you know we've we've played some pretty good defense lately um the last few games at home our, our defensive it's been pretty darn good offensively sometimes when you know maybe you're not quite as confident and you're a little tentative so the so the energy i think that affects it but tonight you know we were, we were kind of clicking on both ends in a lot of ways and so that affects it. I also thought that the the, uh, the crowd was 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 outstanding, and uh, and I think that we're a, a, a team that is uh, growing. You know, I think it's it's th there's two schools of thought, and, and I, I subscribe to both. You know, you can start out a season, you can play a lot of easy games and gain a lot of confidence and get a lot of energy, but sometimes you don't see, and I, and, and those are good, that's a good way to go. You can play a lot of people, and, and and things can go really well for you. Lots of energy, but sometimes sometimes some things get hidden that way. So that's the downside. Or you can play uh, a, what I think is an incredibly difficult schedule for a team this young and with our numbers. And so you go through some rough spots, but you do learn a lot. And um, I'm thankful for it this year. You know, we've we've been put to some tests. And we are growing from that, in my opinion. It's also told us earlier, um, you know, the last few years have been fairly easy to coach. We've got big guys, we've got our point guards, we've got our wings, and we've got kind of a traditional way of playing. This year, we, we're, we're, we're about as opposite of any team I've ever coached. So, you know, we're, we're, we're evolving. Is that's the right word? We're evolving. And we, we did some things tonight that we, we feel moving forward are going to help us. And, I think uh, a lot of that is the result of playing such a difficult preseason schedule so far and uh, learning some, some tough lessons, but I think they're going to help us in the long run. They struggled when they, whenever you guys put the pressure on them. They struggled to get the ball up the floor to create any offense before 16, 17, 18 seconds on the shot clock. Was that something you saw in film that you thought you guys would be able to capitalize on? A, a little bit, but but probably more. It's just, uh, again, when I'm when I'm saying we're – we're thinking every day, okay, who are we, you know, and how can we be the most difficult to play against? Um, so maybe we don't need to be as, you know, maybe we're a little non-traditional team if you look at us. We, we're all the same size. We don't have the little quick guys. We only have one big guy, and and uh, you don't. I've never, I've never coached a team like that. I've never been on a team with thirty some years that's like us. So, so we've got to be unconventional in in, in my mind and. Um, part of uh, we, we learned some lessons, but part of it we haven't had practice time to really do it. We did have a couple days this time, so it was great. We made some changes, and I think some more changes are coming that I think can help us. And I don't mean it's an overhaul by any stretch, but I, I do think we're, we're figuring out what we can do and some of the things we don't do well and how we're going to be able to cover them up. Just in terms of confidence, can you talk about what a big win like this does, and especially in front of a yeah, I think it's, you know, I just think for sure it's uh, our guys are going to feel great about themselves. Perfect timing, too, because it's finals week. And, you know, 
you wouldn't want to be depressed. Finals are depressing as it is, for gosh sake, at least the way I remember them anyway. You know, what's more depressing than finals week? But, but you know, to take this with you, and, and uh, we don't have a game, if I'm not mistaken, for, for a week. So I hope this does stay with them. But no question, you know, and TCU's having an outstanding year, and they're a very, very good team. And so, yeah, we're, our confidence is going to grow from this without question. Your team shot almost 20% better in the second half. What changed in your offense or TCU's defense to account for that, Joe? Uh, I don't know. I don't know if I, if I could say, you know, they were playing man and zone the first half. They played man and zone the second half. They pressed a, a decent part of the game. We did two. We didn't play zone, but, but uh, well, we did one possession. We gave up a wide open. No, two. We played, we played zone two possessions and managed to give up two layups. So that's not easy to do. you you got, you got to work at that now. The, the, the Kind of the purpose of the zone is maybe to make somebody take an outside shot. But we managed to figure out a way to give up two layups against the zone defense. But that was how much we played zone. Uh, we got good shots. I thought we got some good shots the first half. Maybe forced a few. Maybe that would be. Maybe we forced a few in the first half. But um, if, you, if you watch, you know, this is kind of college basketball. A lot of first halves, and, and I hope I'm not, you don't fact check me on this, but a lot of first halves are lower scoring than second half because the defenses are fresher, they're more on point. Uh, as, as, as you get more and more tired, it's just a little bit tougher as the, as the game wears on to be in exactly the right spot, to be in the same stance, to have the same energy. And I think, I think a lot of times you'll see teams, you know, I think a lot of second halves are higher scoring than first halves. I could be wrong about that, but I've always felt that. So, and I, I've not checked that scientifically. Coach, they're typically pretty high scoring. Um, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, this is one of their lowest point totals of the season. They had 35 off the bench. How did you adjust to be able to defend against that many attackers? Yeah, I think they were averaging 82 coming in, if I'm not mistaken. Um, which they had a lot of numbers that were bothering me. That was one of them. Another one was that they. Uh, they did or almost shot, made, they have made more free throws than their opponent shot or was about even coming into this game. And that's, that's a big statistic. All coaches love that. It's like, hey, we've made more than you've even shot. So that was another one. So what if we get in foul trouble tonight? So another one was they're forcing 10 steals a game. So what if we, so what if we go and everything goes wrong? We're fouling. We're not able to stop them. They score 80 points a game. And and they're, they're they're stealing our ball and 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 so those are the those are the concerns but but we worked hard at our defensive game plan if if you will i mean we 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 worked very hard at it but more importantly we always work hard at but our guys uh were were outstanding at, to be on point made very few mistakes at least from where i was sitting i watched the film but it just felt like we were about as on point as we've been at any time during the year, and that's very encouraging to me because we have to be, we'll have to be moving forward. And, uh, you know, I'm also excited. Uh, the bench is growing. You know, the, I, th I think Harry is getting better and better and more confident. The only reason Harry sometimes doesn't play more is because Shimmy and Ben are playing so darn good. It's, he'd be, you know, he. he and, and we may have to figure that one out a little bit because Harry's Harry's doing very well. Harry gives us a lot. Uh, Benny Malagu is is definitely on a good uptick. He's helping us a lot, and uh, Deshaun is now I think getting more and more comfortable, and he gives us an ingredient. So, you know, my gosh, if you can if you can get to eight, and you know, I think Tom's getting better and better. So, uh, we're going to need that. You know, we, we you you just you just have to have that help, and I'm and I'm encouraged that. Some guys are improving, and it's still early, um, but I'm gaining more and more confidence in them. Anything else? Did you get a chance to speak with David Cameron? Pardon? Did you get a chance to speak with David Cameron? No. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.